Okay, welcome to uh, another practice question. This one is on haploid, uh, the, whole, the whole concept of haploid and diploid uh, cells. Uh, this particular question is taken, it's question one, page nine of your unit four student package. So on page nine, you'll see a question uh, like this here. So it says, use the following information to answer the next question. I haven't popped the question up there now, so we're gonna look at a little bit of a strategy uh, to help with that. Very typical question. You're probably going to see this uh, on your final uh, and of course on your uh, on your unit exam when you're ready for it. So it talks about some organisms. It talks about a horse, dog, cat and a human. And then it talks about their chromosomal number for this diploid state, for the diploid cell. So there's multiple things going on here. So when it says 2N, of course that 2N tells me that there's homologous pairs, right? within that cell. And we know that 2N, this is diploid. That's what the two indicates. And we know that diploid cells are somatic cells. So somatic cells being all the cells in the, in the body uh, with the exception of sex cells. There's only two types, somatic and sex. Okay, so these are, let's put some examples, liver, right, skin, stomach, any, all those cells will contain that chromosomal number indicated in this column here. So they're saying here a horse has 66 chromosomes in his somatic cells, dog 78, cat 38, and a human 46. So when we see a question like that, more times than not, what they're gonna do for this particular question is ask you, what is the gamete chromosomal number? Okay, so what I'd like to do before I even look at the question, figure that out. So we know that uh, the somatic cells are diploid, we know that sex cells or gametes, so of course with sex cells in that, we're talking about either the sperm or the egg or ovum, contains half the number. We know in order to make those sex cells, we need meiosis, right? And meiosis is a reduction division. It's reducing those chromosomal numbers from that original germ cell. It's reducing them in half, right? And we know that's super important. You're gonna see a question about the importance of a reduction division. We must reduce those sex cells to half the number of chromosomes. We're gonna separate their homologous pairs into the separate sex cells, okay? So when we do that, when both that sperm and egg unite, so if this guy, let's say in humans have 23, this one has 23, when they unite in that process of fertilization, right, that reintroduces the 46 diploid number in the zygote. So if we didn't do that, we'd have some major issues. We'd have way too many chromosomes and they Zygote can barely survive if there's one extra or one less chromosome, uh, let alone if there was that many, it would never survive. So it's really important that we reduce through meiosis those chromosome numbers in half. So when we take a look at that, all we're gonna do to find that number of chromosomes in the zygotes, or sorry, in the uh, sex cells, is to divide them by two, okay? Reduce them in half. So of course, uh, 66 divided by two would mean there'd be 33 in their sex cells. So again, whether it's the sperm or whether it's the egg, it would only have 33 chromosomes and none of them would be homologous. Okay, the dog 38 divided by two, of course would be 39 and that's the haploid number of their sex cells or chromosome uh, in their sex cells and then 19 when we divide 38 and then they, of course for humans this one we should memorize 23 okay so of course on all these other chromosomal numbers you'll never have to memorize that i'll have to give you that in the question but for humans that one you do want to know 46 chromosomes in their diploid state 23 in their haploid uh, sex cell state so taking that into consideration we wrote a lot of things down here we're ready for the question now it says which are the following statements about cell types and chromosomal number is correct. So it says the ovum, ovum is a sex cell of a horse contains 66 chromosomes. Well, that's not true, right? Because we said the diploid somatic cells, so their liver cell, heart cells, they contain 66, so that can't be true. 
the somatic cell of a cat contains 76. And we can see that the cat, the somatic cell, again, you needed to know that this diploid means somatic, right? Uh, only contains 38, so that can't be true. So don't double that, right? This is already giving the somatic diploid state of all those different organisms. Then it says, uh, see the spermatid, which again is a sex cell, right? So the spermatid of a dog contains 39. So we know that a dog's somatic cell is containing 78. Divide that by two, we end up with 39. That is correct. So when we write all these numbers out really quickly, we can go through this question very simple. You don't have to do the math for each individual stem of the question, which often a lot of time people get lost in. Uh, D, let's just try this one. Somatic cell of a human is 23. That's not true, right? We know a somatic cell 2N is 46. Uh, what's 23 is our gametes, our sex cells, our ovums. Okay, so correct answer in this case, C. Any problems with that, give me an email and we can go over it. Thanks, guys.